Um, I want to say this here. But may, may, maybe I, just no, no, take you back a bit, because yeah. we want to understand yeah, and, and deal with uh, Esther uh, and the perception that people have. The 15 let, let, million let, let, that you've talked about, yes, yes. was it wired from the devolution ministry or from out of the box? No, from out of the box. So if you're holding money for out of the box, why would they wire the money to you? Because uh, that's why that's, you didn't allow me to conclude. Okay, so I was fine. saying mm -hmm. that when a client pays money to an account, Remember, in the first place, when the client sent the money and said, I want to buy property, they cannot say, they can't come to you. And by the way, I'm sorry, as lawyers, we are not even allowed to discuss our clients' issues. But on this one, I asked the directors of Out of the Box that because of the public interest, let me allow me to make this thing clear, that Out of the Box, having been paid their money, and I did not know at that point, and the law firm did not know at that point in time where they got the money from, uh, put resources in the account to say we buy a property. And they bought the property and they have their title and they presented it in public accounts committee. Why are people coming now to say, because that law firm acted for this uh, client who was not even working with NYS, no money was wired from NYS to our account, no money was wired from ministry to our accounts. And I, I have asked this question and I want to ask it again and again. When, when you go to a butchery, you don't ask the butcher, uh, the butcher doesn't ask you where did you get the money to buy the meat. If you go to a shop, the teller doesn't ask you where did you get the money to buy the resources. When Anwar Guru went to see a doctor, the doctor not asked her uh, the, the medical fees you are paying me from where. When someone goes to a lawyer, the lawyer doesn't ask them where did you get these resources. The same way, uh, Mr. Gitonga and I keep emphasizing, uh, Standard Media Group, Nation Media Group, and many other media houses did so many advertisements for NYS, for Ministry of Devolution. Did you ask, did, did this company ask where these resources came from? Did they ask why the ministry is paying for the advertisement? Am I now going to blame you, Mr. Gitonga? Like I asked one of your colleagues in other media house, am I going to blame you that your salary was paid from NYS? Let us be honest as a so nation. What is your point to that? My point that? in that particular situation is that mm -hmm. out of the box in corporation, mm -hmm. which never did work in NYS, brings its resources to say they want to buy a property, deposits it in a client's account, the money is wired to another client's account for the seller, the property is bought, the title deed is there, it's delivered in public accounts committee, and then now there's a mantra and discussion in public that we were paid 15 million when our law firm never received any legal fees. So... Are you saying that uh, you would not face public accounts committee if they needed to, uh, to call you? The question that we had asked this morning is whether Absolutely. people think Actually, that people have asked, and, and, and let's put it clear. Why is Murkomen defending himself on TV in, uh, in uh, public rallies? Why can't he just go to public accounts committee to defend himself? That is part of the lie. Mm -hmm. Murkomen was never mentioned in public accounts committee. There is no basis for public accounts committee to invite Murkomen. I even called the chair and asked the chair, do you want to call me today? He said, oh, you know, we have to go through the normal procedures. They will call me to public accounts committee so that they go and ask me what. Okay. Let's take a <laughs> call from uh, a caller who we have. And um, Festus from Nairobi. Good morning, Festus. Uh, very quick and very short to your qu comments, please, Festus. Good morning, sir. Say morning. To the Mueshmiwa. Yes, Thank morning. You. I have approximately three queries which I wanted to ask you. Very quickly. One, he, ha he is the majority in the Senate and Parliament. National Assembly, yes. If, in, yeah. If you could have known that you have majority people in Parliament, have you ever tabled a motion in Parliament to say that, look, the corruption in the country is very rampant. You want to rectify the law that can cap all these things? Two. If you could have been a good person, you could have defended Chirichi to be returned on duties, and you say Anwar Ikuru should go. That is what, playing one side and defending another side. Thank Great. you. Good question. If you could be a very good person, you could have said, look, we have a law firm, I wrote here, which dealt with Karura. And good. I know that law firm split into two because one person went and played signed things of Karura, and the other one didn't know. And then the law firm split it. Has your law firm split it because of that? As a law firm. Thank you. As my law firm does, All right. Has, has your law firm split because of that? Uh, maybe let's start with the first question. <laughs> let, let, let's, let's, let's start the first one. Is that uh, on the, well, if I was a good guy, I would defend Chichir because he comes from my tribe, of course. Um, <laughs> I think that is what he's trying to say. When the list came to parliament of the 179 you know, was it 175 people who were being told to step aside by the president? I was among the first people. The next morning, in Wednesday, uh, in a, one of the media houses, uh, I think the next week actually, I was one of the persons who said that we have been duped. 
and that the president has been duped. There was no minimum investigation. Somebody even called Teko, who comes from uh, West Pocot. His name was just put there, in one name. They didn't even know he's called James Teko. They just say, Teko, investigate. So and so, investigate. Preliminary. No evidence. Uh, uh, synonymous, uh, anonymous whistleblower, and so forth. It was the saddest thing that the president ever did, in my opinion, to table names that they were not basic. And up to now, up to today, we don't know why uh, Chirchir is out. We don't know why Felix Kosge is out. <laughs> Felix Kosge was even being accused of uh, f potatoes in Limuru or something of that sort. And nobody cared to even find out whether it was the person who was doing the farming and so forth. So that was sad. And why? Do you know why that happened? Mm -hmm. Because of mob justice mentality that is really rampant in this country. Okay. We must have minimum levels of investigation mm -hmm. before saying that people must step aside, people must be dealt with. And so it's not true that I, even in the clip that you provided, the same argument I was making, that mm -hmm. these people, Kazungu, Kambi, uh, and the rest, who are, who are not even facing any court charges now. Mm -hmm. They're just languishing out there. Their names have been soiled. You know, they have been attacked, they have been accused, and without really giving them a chance to be able to, to you don't even provide any accusations against them. Okay. He has said that have we done anything in Parliament? It's not the absence of law, my friend, that makes, it's not the absence of law 